open up the grate. Big pocketing. Are you serious? How long is it gonna be till you get caught, James? Despite the fact that I'm your uncle and promised your father I'd look after you, I'm tired of catching you like a portside prostitute at the police station. Think of your mother, you dunce. Actually, she's who I was thinking about. Since the arrival of refugees in the city, the work situation has become even worse. At least father brought money before. A lot. Then after he was gone, my mother went to work here and there. Things became a bit harder, of course, but we were making ends meet. And you really helped us at that time. Then all this shit happened to Cuba and refugees. Well, you know better than I do. Sure, but promise me that you won't risk that much fucking wallet anymore. I have a proposal. Let's discuss it on the way to the bar. If you say so, uncle. Is this your new car? Nice stuff, man. <laughs> when was the Are you gonna be a pocket worker jerk off for the rest of your life? Uncle, you know for yourself that I never held anything heavier than finery in my hands. I didn't even go to school. I had to feed my mother and sister. So if you have a super water, I'd love to keep it. We have a place for you in the camp. Remember Julio? Yes, I remember. Well, he got shot right in the cake hole last week. Holy shit, who? Don't ask me. I'm out of touch with that. Anyway, the place is free. What kind of work? Well, with Rudolfo, I will definitely pass the interview. He was, after all, a friend of my father until the last day. Keep watching. I don't want you to lose all that confidence in your pants. God damn it! What the hell are your balls doing here? Tell me what you came for. See, James Santana himself came to fit into our OCG. For what it's worth, come in. Consider in, guy. Well, thank you for the honor, but my pulse pounding pensioner let slip that you have an assignment for me. Slow down, Jay. Everything has its time. Now go to the hotel. For now, get some sleep and drive up to the bar tomorrow. Okay, Rodolfo, thanks for a spot in the office.
Morning, Rodolfo. It's about yesterday's side hustle. I'm ready to help, so to speak. I see your eyes are burning and your hands are itching, James. Good. In short, some sons of the part Cuban prostitute hijacked my car last night. I would have figured it out myself, but your uncle and I need to cough up a couple of questions. Our guys say they saw her on the south coast near a shop with a fountain. Bring her in and don't scratch her. Matteo will help you. Nice to meet you, Jay. Let's go check out what you're good for. First, I'll introduce you to our gunsmith, Felix. He will supply you with everything you need. Hey, Felix, a baby gangster needs a barrel here. Do you have some? Matteo Ramiro, motherfucker. Habitual on time. I got fucking nothing left. Your guys dropped everything down. Just don't tell me you only have the lumber, Felix. Slick son of a bitch, but I'll give you a gun to boot. Is there something a bit more serious? Do you think I'm shit with stingers or machine gun belts? You better show me your shooting skill, amigo. Try to hit the target five times with your pistol. Sharpshooter! For the first time, not bad! Just aim for the head. 